Hi friends, I know I have come after a long time and I have not done recording for uh, some time. Uh, just a little lazy. Uh, so today onwards I will begin with uh, introducing FET simulations in the classroom. So I will go here step by step uh, the various things which I have been practicing in the classroom and uh, I will try my best to um, connect them to topics. Uh, which are there in the syllabus of science and I am sure all over the world uh, teachers will be able to use them. Um, I will try my best as usual. So if you begin liking them, you can request for the topic of your choice or the topic you are currently dealing with in the classroom, I will accede to your request. The condition remains that you don't just watch the videos for fun but Use it practically in your classroom to make the learning process interesting and lively for children. And uh, I also uh, request other um, um, YouTube watchers, if you are watching and you are not a teacher, you can pass them on to a teacher. You can use it for your child at home, parents. Uh, if your child is studying in a particular grade and if you think that the syllabus is matching, the topic which I am dealing can be ha uh, helpful for your child. You can use it for your child. So I will be using, uh, making it very practical so that everybody can use it. And if children you are watching, you can have fun too. So you can find a lot of videos on YouTube demonstrating the work on simulations, FET simulations, etc. So you might say, what is new, Shifadi, you are going to do? My agenda will remain that I will take you baby steps on the website give you practical tips for the classroom and it will enhance your teaching process in the classroom i promise that i will try to connect it with the syllabus as i said earlier even if pandemic gets over and you are in your classrooms with children using fed simulations is a great idea because it can actually bring in creativity and critical thinking in the classroom um, and let me uh, tell you why i started when I started uh, with experiments, uh, I could use, suppose I wanted to take up uh, a making electric circuit, I could take maximum two batteries, two cells which children could get from home or I could uh, carry with me some wires and bulbs. But I could not go beyond that uh, actually practically showing them how the electrons move or how they can uh, vary the design of the circuit or uh, how they can increase the number of uh, cells because the resources were limited. But when I came across that FED simulations about 2011 and I started using them in the classroom, I found it miraculous and therefore I was using in the in the classroom, you know, two ways. I would ask the children to first play on the simulation and then I would ask them to play with bulb and cells. So uh, simulations gave them uh, more exposure to different factors. As I proceed with the simulations one by one, I will take up very, very small topics so that uh, in a jiffy you can follow it in the classroom also. And then you will find that how you can connect it to the real classroom. 